I really want to make sure that you guys are cognizant of keeping your food out of the scenario, meaning not in front because she really doesn't want to work when she sees her food. So if let's say I've got my food sitting here and I do this, touch, no, of course now she doesn't, but touch. Okay, so that would be more normal. She knows I have the food, she just stares at my hand and she's not interested in performing the behavior. It's too, it's too much for her to think about. So I gotta make sure those treats stay hidden. Carly. Oh, you guys chew, touch. Yes. Then the treats can come out as soon as touch. Okay. Did it backwards that time. You can come on in. Touch. Touch. So you use treats? Yes. Well, these are all little puppies, like, you know, under four. So if I feel comfortable and I'm in a place where um, I'm not worried about the dog bolting. A lot of times I'll just, let, I'll have a leash attached, but I will just, Harley, I will just let it drag. I do that for a couple reasons. Number one is that we as humans way underestimate how much we're actually using our leash to control a dog. And we need to get more confident and better at using our body language so that down the road we can have a dog off leash and they're used to that feeling. I'm trying to work on what we call reward zone with her right now, which is teaching her to sit at my side facing the same direction, giving me eye contact. Very good. Okay, so you can see how she wants to continually get up and face me because that's where her reinforcement has most often occurred, which is sitting in front, looking at me. But we wanna to work towards that place where the dog gets used to, for walking purposes, being at my side and still giving me, facing the same direction, still giving me the same uh, attention. Okay, we got her. Today we are working on go to your place, and down at your place. So uh, the cue, it can be go to your bed, go to your place, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I use go to your place. Um, pick one specific place that you practice this exercise with. It's really important. I like to have a blanket or a towel that I can pick up and put away when I'm not working. Later, we can expand it to all kinds of locations just to where we point and tell the dog. But in the beginning, I want to be very clear that this is the this is the thing and what we do on this thing. And so, Harley, yes, yes, go to your place, yes. So I'm gonna reward for go to your place. Ultimately, this means go to your place and lie down. But right now, touch. yes, okay. go to your place. Good, very nice, good. Okay, and then always, Giving your release cue, which is the word okay, it means you're done, you're finished, you can get off. Okay. Nice. Go to your place. Yes. A lot of times when I reward a lure into the down, even though the dog's not offering that part yet. Okay. Good job. All right, go to your place. Yes. Now I'm going to ask for the down. Down. Taking her a long time to figure out how to get into down. Harley, down. Yes, good. I'm really trying hard not to give her any physical cues, pointing or luring with a treat. She needs to figure this out on her own and she's done it a bunch of times this morning. It just, and the speed will increase as she gets better. Harley, okay. Good girl. Right. Go to your place. Yes. So you can give one treat for the go to your place. Down. I'm giving her multiple treats. Okay. Release cue at the end. And one last time. Go to your place. Yes. Down. Yes. That was 
Perfect. Perfect. All right, good job today, Harley.